everyone, welcome back to my little corner of the internet. I hope you are all doing well. Today, as you can see by the title of this video, I have a HelloFresh first impressions and review video for you. Nick and I first heard of HelloFresh when we were living in London, and when we came back to New Zealand, there were also a few other alternatives to HelloFresh um, that were available as well. But I have always found cooking like pretty fun. It's not really a big deal in terms of trying to come up with meal inspiration and things. Our friends had just started using HelloFresh and they had a discount code for us. So I figured that we may as well give it a go and like see what it's like, see if it suits our lifestyle. So we ordered our first HelloFresh box on Wednesday and it arrived today, which is Saturday. Each week it looks like there is six recipes available to you and you can kind of pick and choose which of the recipes you want depending on your box size. Because we are going for the five meal, obviously we only had to deselect one meal. The meal that we chose not to have was one that includes fish because I'm not really a big fish eater I never have um, so instead we've got like one vegetarian option as well and then looking ahead for next week it looks like there was another like fishy one on the menu but then there was also one that has halloumi which I'm really excited about but Nick doesn't eat uh, halloumi he doesn't like it so if we were to carry on it might be kind of difficult if we were doing the five meal box just trying to make sure that out of the six at least five of them that we would both enjoy eating one of the things that I guess I've always been skeptical about all of these kind of like subscription meal services is just if the cost is actually worth it so potentially a little bit geeky but I have just done some calculations um, against HelloFresh costs and then also the costs of an online shop at Countdown which is a supermarket that Nick and I would normally go to just to see kind of how stuff compares. So the HelloFresh box that Nick and I got which is just the HelloFresh classic box which is five meals for two people cost us $129.99 but also because this was our first box we had a $50 off code so it actually ended up costing us a little bit less. In comparison if I had gone to Countdown and done the shop it would have ended up costing me roughly $118.77 and that is also so a thing to bear in mind, but some of the stuff uh, in the HelloFresh box, they obviously only send you what you need. You'll get like 50 grams of aioli rather than like a big one litre bottle or something like that. So that cost is made up of just like whatever I could get at the supermarket rather than like the actual cost comparison. But I'm pretty happy with that. If it's like $11 for kind of the convenience fee of not having to go to the supermarket, not having to even do like an online shop, not really even having to think about the meals that I'm going to have and obviously not have to then like go out and think of the ideas and stuff. Um, I think that's actually a pretty good comparison and I'm quite surprised by that because I did kind of feel it was probably going to be like at least $30 more expensive. Anyway, that is enough rambling for me. I'm going to go and get started on making our first meal. So I will check in with you guys once I have done that and chat to you about what it's looking like and if it stays true to the timing. Okay, so this is what we've made for dinner tonight. The leek and feta chicken breast. So this is what the picture looks like. And this is what the reality looks like. I don't think that is too far away. Time-wise, if you can see there, it says that it takes about hands-on 30 minutes and it should be ready in 35 minutes. But it took me 47 minutes from the time that I uh, started preheating the oven and started like prepping everything. Those extra 12 minutes could have just been because our oven isn't the best. Maybe it takes a bit longer to heat stuff up. Uh, or I also like my chicken quite well done because I had a bit of a horror experience with food poisoning in Portugal like in 2010 and I'm still quite scarred from it so I like to make sure my chicken is like super well cooked. Um, but yeah, so far so good. We're going to eat this, we're going to watch a movie and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow to let you know how this went and then also tell you what we're cooking uh, for dinner on Sunday night. Okay, so tonight for dinner we have a smoky beef cheeseburger. Just bear in mind before you look at the one that we did that our buns got a little bit squashed in the bag but this is what our dinner is looking like those burger patties are pretty big but it looks pretty delicious not a bad side by side comparison as well I'm pretty happy with that and it smells delicious as well in terms of timing this one felt like it was a bit more accurate than yesterday it says hands on 35 ready and 40 and it took us just under 40 minutes actually because I forgot to turn the timer off um, until after I'd served up for this dinner as well uh, Nick helped me with like the burger patties and stuff because he's definitely like the burger expert in this house so that probably made a little bit of a difference at the time that there was like four hands on deck rather than just two um, but yeah update on yesterday's leek and feta chicken dinner it was super delicious I definitely will be baking that again if not through HelloFresh just by myself um, but last night's dinner and this one that we're about to have uh, definitely doesn't really have enough for leftovers so I have actually made like another dinner tonight that we can also have uh, as our lunches instead of leftovers but I guess that's just something to consider that maybe we should have just got a four person meal rather than a two person hoping that there'd be enough leftovers. Okay this is what is on the menu for tonight which is Monday it is mild harissa lamb tacos be warned the photo of what they actually look like is going to look different 
different because we don't have one of these like taco holder upper things. But this is what they look like. I think they're pretty similar at least anyway. Just apart from the fact that these ones aren't stood up. Time wise these said that they would be ready in 30 minutes and it actually took less than 30 minutes. I don't know if you can see that. I know it says 31 but I forgot to stop it again until like I'd already dished up and was kind of just nattering on. So I reckon it probably took us about like 25 for both Nick and I to make this dinner. My one thing with this meal is that um, for this meal and then also the burgers that we had last night which were really good. I think Nick and I have definitely made better burgers but it was also nice to just try like a new kind of burger with new um, fillings and stuff that we don't normally have. Um, but anyway they gave us two big things of cost lettuce for both these tacos and for the burgers last night. So we have heaps of lettuce left over which definitely isn't a bad thing because we will definitely use it to make salads and things but I feel like some of the ratios are maybe a little bit off like we still also have um like a bunch of the tomatoes and stuff left and maybe that's just us not filling our tacos very much but yeah at least the good thing about having so much lettuce left over and then also the tomato mix um is that I could always just like make a salad for our lunches tomorrow as well with all like the leftover salad -y bits um but yeah, we're gonna enjoy these tacos and I will see you tomorrow night. So today is Tuesday and our fourth HelloFresh meal is pork schnitzel with apple parmesan salad. This is what the picture looks like and this is what the meal looks like. I have a few things to say about this meal. I know it's probably not something that uh, HelloFresh themselves can completely control but in terms of like portion sizes, these four different pieces of pork are very different sizes. So like this one is basically like half the size of this one. So I don't know, I mean luckily I don't eat as much as Nick so it's fine, I don't mind having like another half a piece but if you're wanting to share the same size meal like it's not exactly easily proportioned. Other disappointing thing, I don't really know if you're going to be able to see it on camera and I don't also know if it's because maybe there was like the apple or heavy stuff put on top of the mint but this mint is either like off or it's been like quite badly bruised and squished. Luckily we have a mint plant in our herb garden so I just went and used one of that rather than using that stuff. But yeah that's a little disappointing because it's only like a few days old so I think it definitely should have lasted. Um, the other thing I have to say about this meal is a positive and that is that we have like quite a bit of salad left over so I reckon Oops, those tongs just flung open. Um, I reckon either I will be able to take that as a full lunch or Nick and I can share it and have it as like uh, a salad in a wrap or something as well for lunch tomorrow. So that's, this is like the first meal where we've been able to have lunch the next day as well. In terms of timing, this says it's hands on for 25 minutes and ready in 30. We managed to get it ready in 26 minutes so I'm also pretty stoked about that. I can't even remember what we had for dinner last night because I needed to tell you about that. Oh yeah, the lamb tacos. Nick and I don't normally eat lamb very often, especially not lamb mince, so that was interesting. Um, I mean it wasn't my favourite meal but it also was quite a nice meal just to have something a bit different but I think if we were to make those types of tacos again we would probably just use normal beef mints like we normally use. Pork is something else that we definitely don't have very often. I can't even remember the last time that I had something that was pork. So yeah I guess that is a positive of HelloFresh is that it's like making us branch out and try a bunch of different meats so there's like a lot of variety. Um, yeah I guess it's just some stuff that we're not used to. Anyway I am going to tuck into this meal and I will check in with you tomorrow to let you know how it tasted and to cook our fifth and final HelloFresh meal. Alright so our fifth and final HelloFresh meal is these cheesy Mexican bean enchiladas and this is what they look like. A little bit different from the picture but yeah they smell pretty good so I'm excited to eat these. This one said it was hands on for 35 minutes and ready in 40 minutes and we had it ready in 35 minutes 42 and this one also was all me because Nick has only just gone home from work so that's pretty good timing um, especially for a weekday meal. The one um, substitution I've done with this meal is that it has like a salsa on top which is supposed to be uh, tomato, corn, red onion and coriander but we don't like coriander so I have just replaced it with a little bit of basil from our herb garden. The pork dinner last night I really liked the salad part of that. I had just that for lunch today and it was really delicious and I think I'll definitely be making that again but maybe just substituting the pork for either chicken or just having it as like a salad by itself. Um, I think it's just because I'm not really used to eating pork and it's just like not one of my preferred 
meats if I was going to have like a meat with dinner. But it was still pretty good, as I said, to try new things. Okay, so it is now Saturday. The enchiladas that we had on Wednesday were really good. I really liked the alternative of using uh, natural yogurt instead of like a sour cream, which I'd normally use. Um, and I was also really impressed that Nick actually ate the enchiladas because he doesn't normally like any types of like kidney beans or chickpeas or anything like that, lentils and stuff. So I normally avoid using them when I cook because he doesn't like them. So I was a little bit apprehensive as to how he was going to go with the enchiladas because normally we make enchiladas, we make them with chicken and not beans. But I don't know if it was because of the combination of the flavors or what, but he really liked them and he ate them all. So it's cool that we now have like a veggie alternative to one of our favorite meals as well. Overall, I think we've had a pretty good first experience of using HelloFresh. I don't really have that much to fault by it, other than just I don't really think it's necessary in our lifestyle because we have quite a lot of free time so like we're able to go to the supermarket and as I said like I quite like planning meals and stuff so that's not really an issue but I can definitely see how for people that maybe don't have much inspiration in the kitchen or maybe they don't really like cooking or people that have like a busy lifestyle and even just going to the supermarket is a hassle maybe families who have young children I can definitely see how it would be really useful for those types of people. For now we have put our HelloFresh subscription on hold just because I don't really think we need to use it every week but I think I will probably still be like checking in to see what the recipes are like every week and if there's a week that like five recipes look really good to us then maybe we'll pick it back up again. I also know that when we get back from our honeymoon which we're going on in a couple months the day that we get back is a Saturday so if we could have box delivered that morning that means for like the next five days we could be having like fresh meals and we don't have to worry about going to the supermarket as soon as we're back. This HelloFresh experience has also made me kind of curious to know what the other like food box um, subscription services in New Zealand are like. I've heard a lot of people talking about my food bag which is by Nadia Lim. The only like real criticism I've heard of that one is that you just have to like chop a lot of stuff or there's like a lot of ingredients that go into each meal. Um, but I know there's other alternatives as well like Whoop Box which I've like never really heard that much about so I don't know maybe it might be interesting to try a few other boxes and give you guys my honest opinion on them if that's something that you'd like to see. I think that is all I have to say but if you do have any other questions about HelloFresh or my experience with them please feel free to leave them for me in the comment section and I will uh, endeavor to reply to you. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you will have a wonderful week and I'll see you all later on. Bye!